Hi, this is Jim Hensel for Hensel Family Farms. Uh, I'm going to show you a chicken crate uh, that we've made. Uh, this crate is uh, 23 inches long this way and 18 inches uh, this way. Half inch plywood. The uh, lath has been cut uh, from a 2x6 uh, into um, pieces that including the saw kerf are half an inch so these are a little less than a half but you get eleven pieces then out of a five and a, five and a half inch wide two by six the reason for us that it's twenty three inches wide is that it fits in the pickup bed perfectly so that we can get ten crates on one level of course it would have been more efficient to uh, make it twenty four uh, but uh, this worked for us the uh, features of this uh, include a sliding uh, door, just there's a hole here to open it and then uh, underneath. I'll show you the door in a minute. Uh, uh, also if you look at the uh, spacing of the lath, you see that the uh, lower lath are about a half an inch apart and the upper lath uh, is uh, more than an inch and the same thing uh, near the top. Uh, the reason we did this is that we haul uh, small uh, chicks out to the pasture uh, and so we didn't want them to be able to get out. Uh, we were also trying to keep the weight down. Uh, I haven't weighed this yet, but, uh, but it's a pretty stout crate. The only thing we have left to do on this crate is we have a banding machine, and so we're going to band uh, around the lath just to, uh, to uh, make it doubly strong. In addition, this uh, extra gap here creates a nice handhold to pick up the crate either way actually. Uh, I realize I should have said that the uh, uh, how tall the, the uh, crate is, the, each of the corner legs is 10 inches long. So it's actually 10 inches inside with the half inch plywood in on top. So this uh, jig is for putting the, putting the uh, bottom onto the uh, crate. You could use about anything. This just is a. These are the uh, half-inch strips, uh, but it's just uh, something to hold the the legs in the right position. Then the tops put on. I'm using a pneumatic stapler uh, because we're going to band it. If we if you weren't going to band this, uh, I would recommend putting two screws in these corners. Okay, so you end up with something like that. So this is the uh, the top. Uh, we've cut out here a uh, piece that is uh, nine inches uh, deep this way, and uh, I've forgotten exactly the dimension. And it's eleven inches across this way. We just uh, uh, cut the first one and then used it as a template, uh, drilled a hole in, in one corner so you could jigsaw up this way, turn, come down here, and then jigsaw this way. The uh, sliding door needs rails, and so this, this template is to, to put the rails on. The rail itself looks like this. You can see that it's been uh, uh, cut out. I actually ran it through the table saw so let's see if you're looking at the table saw, ran it through this way and then flipped it in for end and ran it through again to cut this piece out. So then the, the door uh, is going to be held between the plywood, the plywood would be up here so it can slide in that slot. So I needed a jig to put, the, uh, put these rails on and that's this jig right here. The, uh, the rails just go in like so. And then a 
going to line these rails up even with the cut so that the, the you're creating now a U shape in there that the that the door can slide in. And then I, I just uh, make these simple boards here. I put this board in and then I know that I can nail just right next to it. Then I put the other board in and I can nail right next to it and I can only nail to here because the the uh, uh, rail isn't isn't fully is it long? And then you end up they pull it out and you end up with something that looks like this. Okay. So then the uh, I'm just going to leave that there. I have a jig for making the door. That's right here. The uh, I didn't point out, but the the way the uh, lap is on, this could slide right out because there's a gap at the top of the, uh, of the, uh, between the top lath and the plywood. And so we've just added these little pieces here. Uh, and they're just the, they're actually the remnants of when I cut out the, uh, this piece. Uh, I ended up with these little half inch square bits. And so they're, they're easily put together. I'm using uh, shorter staples for that. I've just cut the, the bit to the right length. And uh, so I have a jig that, uh, that I can just slide the, the, the board in, the piece in. And it's held in the right position. Then I can lay a door down. And I don't ignore the fact that I have this. This is already on this one. I'm out. I've already done all these, and so I don't have one to show you. Then I just staple it, and then you can just turn it around, put another piece in, and uh, staple the other side, and you end up with this. I, I don't think I mentioned that the door, uh, the size of the door, so it's nine and a half, so it's in the opening is nine inches, so this will always. Uh, It'll, it'll always cover. When it's, when it's open, it sticks out a little bit. When it's closed, it, there's no gap in the back. So it's 9.5 by 12. Uh, so pretty convenient. Uh, the last thing I wanted to show you was how I put the lath on. I needed a jig for that. Uh, so here's the, the lath. And I made a, uh, I made a jig that uh, slides in like so uh, that has uh, maybe I should take it out again and show you so it has these teeth so a lath fits here, a lath fits here, and a lath fits here, and a lath fits here and this happens to be the width of the door so I just slide it in to the, to the uh, so I'd have the crate upright camera slightly. Straight upright like so. Have these loose, loose laugh and just uh, get them all positioned and then I could uh, tighten them up and, and uh, get them exactly that way where I wanted them, staple them down, then you can pull this off. I do the both the two long sides that way and then the short sides I just line up by eye because you have the, already have the long sides as a guide. So. That's it. I suggest you uh, uh, stencil your name on them because your neighbors are going to want them. And uh, they're going to disappear if you don't uh, take good care of them. Um, hope you enjoy.